Everybody, we are super excited to see you. Welcome to our treehouse. My name is Bethany, and this is my friend Ziggy. Hello, Bethany. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm super excited because I have this very cool new camera, and I can't wait to take some photos of Ziggy for our treehouse. Are you ready for me to take your photo, Ziggy? Oh, well, I'm not sure, Bethany. Maybe later. No, let's do it now. It'll only take a few seconds. And the camera's all ready. I know what might help. If I count down from three, then you can say cheese when I get to one. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Cheese! Oh no, Ziggy, you've got to stay still. Let's try again. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Cheese! Oh no. I wonder who that could be. Let's go and have a look. We need to press the purple button. Hi, Bethany. It's Pete the Postman. Hi, Pete the Postman. Come on up and join us. Hi Bethany, hi Ziggy. Hey everyone. Wow, I love your camera. Thank you. I've been trying to take some pictures of Ziggy on it so that it can go up in our tree house, but he's not so keen on having his picture taken. I've got an idea. Why don't I take a photo of both of you and then you can put it up in the tree house? That would be awesome, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'll count down from three to one, and when I get to one, you can both shout treehouse and then I'll take the photo. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, let's okay. do this right. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Treehouse! Oh no, Ziggy. Yes. What's wrong? Why don't you want your picture taken? Because there's nothing to be frightened of. Well, the thing is, Bethany, I'm different to everyone else. Ziggy, we're all different. And none of us are the same, and that's okay. I've got an idea, Ziggy, something that might cheer you up. I've got a parcel here, and I think what's inside might be interesting. Bethany, why don't you open it? Thank you, Pete. I wonder what could be inside the parcel today. <gasps> Look, it's a mirror. <gasps> wow. I wonder if that has anything to do with our Bible story today. Hi, Bethany. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wonder what kind of things you like to make. Maybe you like to paint or draw or build things out of building blocks or sticks. My favourite thing I've ever made is a cushion like this. And after I made it, I was so pleased. Today's Bible story talks about the first time that anything was ever made, when the world was made. Can you help me tell this story? Now, whenever I say, God saw what he had made, can you join in and do a thumbs up and say, it was good. Okay, let's practice. God saw what he had made and it was good. <laughs> well done. Let's begin. In the beginning, there was nothing except God. And God wanted to make something really special. So what do you think he did? Do you think God drew a picture? Nope. Do you think God made a cake? <laughs> no, that would be silly. God did something so much bigger. God made the world. But it was dark and God thought to himself, hmm, there needs to be some light. So he put a big light in the sky and that was the first day ever. God saw what he'd made and he said, it was good. Next, God made some water so he could wash and drink and swim. And God saw what he'd made and he said, it was good. God made lots of beautiful plants, trees that would produce fruit, grass and flowers. God saw what he'd made and it was good. 
I wonder if you could help me with this bit. Maybe you could make your favourite animal noise. Mine's a sheep. Bah! What's yours? <laughs> oh, that's good. God made lots of animals and he saw what he'd made and it was good. But there was still something missing. God thought, hmm, I need to make something a bit like me who likes to make things too and who really cares about all the things that I've made. God made his best creation yet. God made people and he put a little bit of his heart into each and every one of us so that we would all love him too. I wonder who you love. How many people can you think of? Well, God made all of them too. Isn't that amazing? And he loves them even more than we do. God made people and he made us. And he saw what he'd made and it was good. God next took some time to have a rest. And God saw what he'd made and it was good. See you next time. That's so amazing. And a great reminder that God made each and every one of us. And God said that we are good. It's reminding me of a bit in the Bible in a book called Psalms. In Psalm 139, it says that God made us fearfully and wonderfully. Isn't that great? God made all of us wonderfully. Oh, uh, Bethany? Yes? Uh, does that include me too? Yes, Siggy, that absolutely includes you. Uh, so I don't need to be worried about what I look like or if I'm different from others? So, like, God made me wonderfully. Yes. <gasps> wow. Let's have a look in the mirror now. Do you have a mirror at home? When we look in the mirror, we can see ourselves. God made all of us and he says that we are good. So, why don't we look in the mirror as we pray together now? God, thank you that you made us and you say that we are good good. Amen. 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 I have an idea. Maybe whenever you look in the mirror, you can remember that God made you and he thinks you are wonderful. That's a great idea, Bethany. So, Ziggy, are you ready to have your photo taken now? Oh, uh, you know what, Pete? Postman? I am. <laughs> Right, uh, everyone look over here, let's do this right. I'll do the countdown, everyone ready? Three, two, one, Treehouse! <laughs> Brilliant, there you go, Bethany. Oh, thank you, Pete. I can't wait to put these pictures up in the treehouse. And I think every time we look at them, we can remember that we are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. That's so cool, Bethany! Now it's time for us to say goodbye, but we will see you again soon. Goodbye! Goodbye!